All right, thank you very much, Emily. We'll, of course, check back with you on CBS 6 News at 11 to see what comes out of that meeting today. Yeah, and we're going to go to Kimberly Howard now, and I know some residents there are nervous about this PFOA situation because their numbers vary so widely. Yeah, that's right, Liz. The numbers show that the people who live here, they have drastically higher levels of PFOA in their blood than it does the average American. Broken down further, you can have two people who live in the same home and they have drastically different levels. Now, health officials were on hand today to answer the questions that they could, but not everybody was pleased with their answers. These are the numbers of me and my family. 231, 51.5, 46, and 148 micrograms per liter, all well above the level the CDC lists as the national average of PFOA found in a person's blood. I was literally shaken as I was opening my daughter's envelopes. And even though theirs is lower, that's still high for a child. Marianne Jacobs was also sent data to put the numbers in perspective. The average level of PFOA found in other communities impacted by similar contaminations, for example. That rubbed her the wrong way. You can't point to a page and say, well, if you look over here, Ohio's, they got an average of 200 and something. No. Jacobs is also less than impressed with the health officials stationed at the armory answering questions. I did ask her a couple questions, but right away I kind of felt the gist that I knew more than her. State health official Dr. Nathan Graber says his team is answering all they can. We're still collecting blood samples. We're still analyzing data. We're still entering data from the surveys that we took when we collected the blood samples. So all of that is going to be analyzed and put together in a, in a final report for the community. He says there's no way to instantly remove PFOA from the body, that clean water and time are the only remedies. PFOA declines over time, naturally in the body, and it takes about two to four years for the PFOA levels to decrease by half. In the meantime, health officials are urging people to discuss their results with their individual physicians, especially if they have any of the health conditions linked to PFOA exposure. They told me that I should talk to my doctor um, because cancer does run in my family. Now, health officials will be here to answer questions until 8 tonight. They'll be back here to do the same thing on Thursday and on Saturday. Live in Hoosick Falls, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. All right, thank you very much, Kimberly. Now, what are the